Hi, I'm Andrea with Education Elements. I've been a teacher and coach, and in my role at Education Elements, I have the opportunity to work with leaders across the country as they inspire change to support their students. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about visioning and the role that it plays in helping you achieve the goals that you set out in strategic planning and even surpass them. We'll talk about how a strong vision captures the essence of your community. Second, we'll talk about how visioning can help you set a direction and galvanize your community. And third, we'll talk about how the process of visioning can help inspire and motivate your team. At Education Elements, we believe that visioning is setting a clear perspective or point of view that helps guide an organization in making difficult or unclear decisions. Often, when we're working in strategic plans, we want to answer those big questions, the questions that impact lots of different people, which is why having a clear vision is so important for guiding those decisions. Engaging and developing a strong visioning practice can help you and your organization as you're thinking about making choices with often imperfect options. Let's dig into these terms. It's important to understand what they mean in order for you to determine whether you need it or not. So your mission is why you do what you do. Your vision is where you wanna go. And your values are what you believe. Now, your mission and vision tend to be more general. Your values or your beliefs tend to be a lot more specific. All of those things need to be decided based on the personality of your organization or the culture that you hold. You wanna make sure that if you're going to take a stance on a vision or a mission, that you know why it's there and what, how it serves you. Second, visioning helps you set direction and galvanize your community. There are two ways in which you can galvanize your community around your vision. The first is when you're creating it. So ensuring that you have feedback from stakeholders as you develop your vision can make them involved in the process and help them see their voice in the final product. The second is by engaging people in the mission when it's already developed. You might do that through hiring people who are really aligned to your mission and vision. And it might help you keep consistent expectations for those who are still there or who have been there for a long time. Finally, the process of visioning itself can inspire and motivate your team. When you engage in developing your strategic direction, you'll want to get feedback from your varying stakeholders. Some things you're going to want to know are, what makes us unique and different? Why do people come here? Why do people stay? All of these different answers are going to help you determine what your unique twist is as an organization. What makes you different? Finally, is the practical part. It's time to put pen to paper and start developing a vision or mission or whatever you choose to call it. We suggest using type protocols when developing your vision. This allows that your voices will be, that many voices will be heard and represented in the final product. We also think it's important to share how you plan to use the feedback. It's impossible to include every word that everybody feels strongly about. So when you go about visioning, it's important to communicate what feedback you're looking for and how you plan to develop that statement or different statements. This is also a great time to consider whether you wanna bring an outside facilitator to help you make those choices. It's often easier to be a participant in these types of conversations when you already have a pretty strong opinion about your own organization. And finally, building a strong timeline for how you plan to develop your strategic plan is going to be important in how you prioritize your visioning process. By setting clear expectations with your stakeholders, you can help them understand the different inputs that go into the decision-making process and it helps you build trust and motivation and momentum for when the final product is rolled out. So we've talked about a lot today. First, we talked about how a strong vision captures the essence of your organization. Secondly, we talked about how visioning can help you set direction and galvanize your community. Finally, we talked about how the process of visioning can help you build trust and momentum within your teams. I have a few questions for you. If you've engaged in visioning before, what's worked, what hasn't? Finally, what tone do you want visioning to set as you begin your strategic planning process? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.